Frank, we're ready. Oh, okay. Star Wars Episode One. This is our 31st Star Wars we've sold in all these years. And uh, not, not, too, not too shabby, huh? Game looks terrific. Uh, we did a slight change. A customer wanted green, so we put green tea molding here instead of the usual black. And I want to point out what my Jason is. There he is right there. Look, look, look. And look at the baby he's finishing up. You're going to see that on Monday. But look at what Jason came up with. A couple of neat ideas. Put super bright blue LEDs here. Right, Jason? Yeah. Jason, come over and tell him. Tell him. Let's let Jason back. Well, we went away from the regular standard LEDs. We put high intensity throughout the entire machine. That's why if you look at it, it's so bright and vibrant. I also put underneath of this for the out lane and underneath on this side with the out lane, there's a red LED flasher. So whenever the ball drains down there, it flashes red rather than your typical white. LEDs throughout the whole bottom of the play field. And as you can see, through three coats of wax and countless hours of cleaning, it turned out perfect. Oh gosh, it looks mm -hmm. terrific, Jason. It looks terrific. And this, of course, use, has the television set up here and that reflects off the special glass that creates this terrific playing game. And it is absolutely beautiful. Did you see that, that red uh, flash there? Right there. Isn't that neat? It's, well, what a great idea, Jason. Terrific idea. This has incredibly great sound. Cabinets in great shape. Oh gosh, everything, everything's terrific about that. Oh, you know what else? Somebody requested, what about the computer up top? You know the computer in here. What I've got it locked. Wall? Okay, but I'm going to cut away now and show you what we did for the computer. New power supply, etc. Let's cut away to that. This is the Star Wars computer in the inside. We already put a brand new power supply in. Look at the size of that fan. There's the new lithium battery. That's the processor. We already took the old fan off. It was all cruddy and we're going to put a new one on now. Remember you mount it so that the airflow goes down. You see, that's what you should do with yours. So if you have a Star Wars Episode 1 over Revenge of Mars or Wizard's Blocks, Wizard Block I think it is, you should do the same thing to your computer to keep that baby nice and cool. Did you see the size of that fan on that power supply? That power supply is used in the big buck hunters, a giant fan to keep everything nice and cool. Do we think this game is going to go into the person's home? It's going to run terrifically for years and years. And the only time we're going to see this game again is when people trade it in. You know, we guarantee people for the life of the machine, anything they buy from us, at least 50% trading credit, even if it doesn't work. So people have been exercising that feature with us since we started home sales in 1984, many, many years ago. Steven, you came in! Where have you been? You're here all day. You're just blind. Uh, you know, I don't like it when people put in lousy 55-hour work weeks. What do they think this is? 59, get it right. Uh, and you! 51. Standing around do doing nothing. Actually, you are the van or truck. The van or the truck? Oh, he's talking about the Star Wars. Uh, the family van will be fine. It's going down a flight of steps. We have to take the head off from the body. Good. We'll see you Monday because I'm going away on a vacation, a quick two day, a real quickie two day. -er. But on Monday, we got a boatload of games that we'll be putting up. We're in the yellow pages under amusement. Ah, living is good, isn't it, folks? That's all for now. Good night.